Well, it's beginning to because we have been here for two years. Mm -hmm. Is there anything someone can do about it? Well, I think it's important for the, the sponsors of this, these chambers to exercise oversight. It's important for the people of Kosovo to exercise oversight. It's important for the government of Kosovo to exercise, exercise oversight. What is there to be done concretely? To pay, to pay attention, to follow what is happening. Right now, people are not paying attention because if they were paying attention, they would see that the process that is unfolding in our view, is not a fair one. The, the, the accused that are before the tribunal or the chambers are not receiving information or the evidence against them. We had an incident in February where exculpatory information, information that, would, that shows that the individuals are not, are not guilty, was being withheld. So there, there, there are examples that we can go on and on. You look at the indictment, there's information. It's intentionally withheld. You well, would refer. I, I, you know, I will not comment whether it's intentional or, or, or negligent or what it, what it is. But all I can say is that it's being withheld and it's a problem. And also, Mr. Thasi, when he received these new charges, he said that actually he cannot understand the text because it has so many edits. Well, that is one of the other problems. The indictment is heavily redacted, meaning you have paragraphs that does not identify a victim. It does not identify a location of the incident. It does not identify the date of the incident. Mm. So, for example, it will say blank 1999, blank was abused by blank at blank location. Mm. What is someone supposed to do with that? We do not know where it happened, when it happened, to whom it happened. How is someone supposed to exercise a defense on something like that? And I, I, I ask you, I ask anyone that's paying attention, does that seem fair? So these materials are so heavily edited that you can actually not understand what they are talking about, where, who, what? Oh, yes. Yeah, there are, there, are, there, there are parts of the indictment that are so heavily redacted that it's, it's hard to understand exactly what they are talking about. And the main thing was, that was uh, discussed was uh, how they used to call the Kosovo Liberation Army, so it's Joint Criminal Enterprise. And at one of the points of the indictments there, it's a list of what the prosecution office uh, believes it stands for. And there is a list of almost every person that in a way had something to do with KLA. Yes, and when you read the indictment to us, it reads that the prosecution is effectively criminalizing the KLA. When they talk about a joint criminal enterprise, they talk obviously about the four accused that are there, and then they say, and members of the KLA. Mm -hmm. They don't say certain members of the KLA. They talk about members of the KLA. So what is happening here is the organization that was responsible for the liberation of this, of this country and its people is now being criminalized. And is this, because we are doing this talk all over and over again, does this have a political aim in the end? Because many say that, okay, Yugoslavia, Milosevic,